Um, the next one is from uh, Luke Luke Smith. Oh, the subject right. is Matt Coon. Oh, wow. Hey, guys. Have you noticed Matt Coon literally every time log on having fights with people on Twitter? He is now taking the care for the, he has taken the cake for the most irritating person I follow on Twitter. Seems like a nice guy and enjoyed him on the show, but I've now just seen him in a Twitter argument with Cornet's lawyer. Yeah. That's to go with Jim himself. <laughs> I had a bit of Cornet's lawyer. Oh, yeah. 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 Disco, that's to go with Jim himself, Disco, Dave Meltzer, Bruce Mitchell, Brian Last, Jeff Lane, and the entire Vince Russo is the brand for Twitter followers. And that's just off the top of my head. I'm sure there's more. I think Disco summed it up perfectly a while ago. He is desperate for people to take value in his opinion on everything. And that's from Luke Smith. And that's, uh, that's true. That's what it comes across as. You know, he's, he's like trying to elevate himself above the status of the regular <laughs> marks but he's still just just one of the marks he, you know he said so it was like there's yeah. almost it's almost like there's like the visions of marks now like these mark know-it-alls and then they look down upon the other marks yeah. like they're all marks it's like uh for for example like we've all just seen the clip of the guy coming out at his wedding playing the fucking title belt right and someone uh t- t- tweeted back at me like oh i guess that's what joe wanted to do is his his wedding and that pisses me off because that's the kind of marks I don't want to be associated with. So you're exactly right, like where there's levels. Like I would never come out to fucking wrestling music at my wedding playing a belt. But since I'm a wrestling well, fan, what, what do you expect now them I'm, to think when you used to have toys behind you and there's a belt of you? I, I, I don't know if it's your dad or who it was holding a championship belt. Wait a minute, a that, couple years ago at some convention, you look like a mark, bro. Yeah, so but, they don't know. But that listen, that's Flair's original gold belt. Who wouldn't hold that belt? I mean, that's a special belt. That's MWO <laughs> shit right here. You go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, Matt. Matt's going. Matt's going nuts on Cornette's lawyer. Like the past couple of days, and he's throwing. I, I think he's throwing lines out there that come to me as uh, that seem to me like intentionally uh, antagonistic. Like of he, course. He, like he's actually no, he, no, no, no. He, but he I mean, antagonizes everybody, and then complains he's, that people are attacking him. But I mean, he he used uh, "come at me, boomer." And right. that's just, wait a minute, Matt. You're uh, you're in your forties. Yeah. I'll wait. <laughs> he does that thing that goes, I'll wait. Yeah, like yeah, he yeah, says yeah. Bro, but but here's the funny thing. If you look at the guy's history, predictions and prognostications, there's nobody that's been more wrong about everything than this guy. It's like, like he's like me, he's like an epic fail pre- of like give me of something like, he predicted and it didn't happen because I don't know what you're talking a, about. AEW would would reach two million viewers a second the second week and would never go below one million. Okay. Like he he gives his takes on stuff like he's like it you know and, and like right. you just look at the takes you go like okay you're wrong on this you're wrong on this you're wrong on this you're wrong and at some point you want to say like dude you know hey relax a little bit you're 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 wrong so about let everything. me ask you a question you, you keep you, pushing you, your narratives and stuff and like and like I'm going like you know at some point you need to be right about something to keep fighting people and arguing with them you know <laughs> so right so you know. here's my <laughs> question do you think that there's also a these guys on Twitter that everybody's trying to make a name for themselves, right. monetize themselves, brand know. themselves. Are, his his way. Wait one second. His way of doing it is throwing out shit, engaging with people, fighting with them, and getting other people to join in, which is what Ryan Satin did for a lot of for for a while. You know what I'm saying? I, I, is I that like perfect, is it? I yeah. summed it up perfectly on Vince's show when we we were talking about how you know how the Deadspin told their sports writers, "Hey, stick to sports, no more politics." Yeah, yeah, right. right. So a bunch of them just did quit. Oh, I'm not good, you know. And they, they look, all they're telling you is like your, your employer wants to go more towards sports centric. They, they don't want they don't want to mix politics and sports. Right. They're just just right about sports, and they're they quit. Yeah, and including everybody on social media is like. Plus, oh, not only know. that, bro. It's yeah, been it's it's, a, it's common knowledge that most people do not want to hear about politics while they're watching sports, well, including thing, myself. Though. ESPN got had a lot to learn of views that. On that. That like, right. like, let's like say that their politics centric, you know, stuff was like getting it, it, it add more of an audience, you know, because right. like you're getting okay. But that they they did, the, the owners did not want to go in that direction, right? So so this is so this is the perfect take. It's like there's literally people out there, and you see these people, these writers, they quit and they go on social media. I'm not, you know, and like, bro, people are more concerned about their status on social media than their job. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, you know, wait, wait. It's like, it's you're, like, wait, you're yeah. telling me that the sports stories that they wrote that had some sort of political tie-in no, 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 had they would write straight people reading them? No, no, they, they, oh, would, okay. they would write straight, Trump okay. sucks, you know, okay. like the an article, this is why Trump, you know, yeah, just something that had nothing to do with sports, right? right. And some of them, obviously, this, you know, if it's Trump's getting booted a national game, that's a sports story, you know, right. so that, that's not, you, it's like they, they can write about that, you know? Right. But, uh, but you just see people... Like these guys and like the Matt Coons and stuff that are that are more concerned about their their status on social media than they are about what they do in real life. 
And, right. and the, the, like the thing about it, you, you're literally, you're literally worried more about what people that you've never met in person in your life have ever laid eyes on, and you don't even know who these people are. They're just behind a keyboard. You're worried about what they think about you. I've never, or you know, you know me. I got, I, I could couldn't give two shits about what people think about me. All right, because I know what what I believe, and you know, I'm, I, you know, but I don't care if I get heat, if I, you know, for for for. You're sharing my opinions. I'm no. not trying to drive. But, but let me tell you something, Glenn. Like me let me let me tell you something, Glenn. As you've learned uh, since we've been podcasting, you are in the minority because half the motherfuckers that say that nothing bothers them, it actually does. Well, half of them don't sell it and they complain in private. The other half do sell it. They don't notice they're selling and they get fucked even more. Yeah. But uh, you know, and I, you know me, I'm like 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 you. I don't give a fuck either. You know, but I use it for what I use it, marketing, trolling, uh, keeping informed, seeing what you guys are up to. So, listen, you know. listen, so, so me and Vince had it out on, his, on the last Lions Tiger Bears. And wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait one second. Wait one second. He was on this show last week, okay? I think we ambushed him, and he started off real hot, okay? Let's so do all this. Carries, hey, go wait, ahead. Wait, 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 I want to bring this discussion up in the show. Okay, go, go ahead and call him. Is this a third week you're going to ambush this guy? Okay, because here's the thing. Yeah. I went off, and I was going off on him about how it's not a good look for a writer of a show to book himself in an angle where you win the world. And he was trying to explain to me about how the angle was written. I'm like, yeah, because you're the one that's writing the angle. I go, ultimately, you just look at this from a, from a basic brass tack standpoint, you want yourself to be the world champ. And he was trying to defend it. Right. And, like, his reasons for defending it, I'm just saying, bro, do you understand that you, you this is how, it's like, if I went and went to AEW and they made me the rider, in my mind, I was going to figure out a way for me to win the belt. Right. I was going to get myself on TV, and I go, "That's what you did." I go, "That that's I, regardless of the reasons, I, but that is what you did." You, right. you know, it's like so, and, and he's trying to argue, and he was getting pissed off. Like so, afterwards, Vince tweets this: "I apologize to Britain." First of all, he puts a picture of the disco puppet, which is antagonistic. He's trying right. to, he's doing like the Matt Coon thing. He's trying to apologize, but he's antagonizing if he wants to apologize. Can I go back to something real quick before you go, because then I'll forget? Yeah. By the way, Joe, that little clip that you told me about where two people are getting married with the WWE belt, mm -hmm. I commented on that, and I put, I wish somebody would double, double close. close. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so Vince <laughs> tweets this. I apologize to Brand Melvers, who felt that lines to LTBD got out of hand this week. That's on me. I have to learn to control my anger with that the real disco. Why is the he guy apologizing? Knows, the guy knows me a long time and knows what buttons to push. I need to be more professional, Italian temper. Sorry. <laughs> <We're so laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Why is he apologizing? Troy like, wouldn't apologize. Of course not. So I want to get said, that. Uh, well, <laughs> it, you, is he answering? No, no. It just said, it said Vince Russo unavailable. Oh, uh, that so. sucks. Well, right, send him uh, a text and ask him when he yeah, will be. Send him a back. text and say, "Hey, can we, can, we, can we bring you on?" Disco wants to just dis say, "Disco's burying you on the show. Do you want to come on and defend yourself?" Does okay. he? Um, 